In this presentation, we're going to go over the using the left and right functions exercise. I have my functions workbook open here to the left right tab. My first step, I'm going to fill in area codes for the phone numbers that are listed on the sheet. So I'm going to click in cell B2, select the formulas tab and click insert function. I'm going to search for the left function, select it and click OK. In the text box, I'm going to select cell A2, which is my first phone number. And for number of characters, I'm going to enter three, since an area code is three numbers long. I'm going to click OK. And you'll see that here it is filled in my area code for my first phone number. I can click and drag my fill handle to copy this down the row. Next, I'm going to use the sale IDs here in column D. First thing I want to do is enter the store ID for these sale IDs. So I'm going to click in E2, select insert function, select left again, click OK. And you'll see from my description in the red text here, the first three letters are my store ID number. So I'm going to, for text, select cell D2, which is my total sale ID. And for number of characters, I'm going to select three. So it will select my first three numbers on the left, click OK. And you'll see here, one, two, three is my first store ID. I can click and drag the fill handle down to copy this formula. Next, I'm going to input salesperson ID. I'm going to click insert function again. This time I want the number on the right, so I'm going to search for the right function. Select it and click OK. Again, I'm referencing the sale ID cell, so I'm going to click cell D2. And for number of characters, it's the last two that represent the salesperson. I'm going to enter two and press OK. I'm going to click and drag my fill handle to propagate this all the way down my row. Coming up next, you'll learn how to use date functions in Excel 2016.